In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of data validation. So what data validation is, it's the idea that you stop people typing in stupid stuff. So for example, in the previous video, we created some forms where people could type in any car brand and I typed in a lot of rubbish. Now, that's not very good because what if someone is leaving on the keyboard and start entering a load of data into a database and change all names or they add in things that are wrong? That's not a very good idea. So if we go into our table, just get rid of all this stuff first. That's what you get for having your screen too full. There we go. What we can do is we can start putting in some form of validation for your different fields. So for example, you've got a validation rule and validation text. Now there is quite a few different ones you can have. So I'm going to start with year. So year, you can have things like, it must be less than, in my case right now, less than 2021. So obviously you can't have a car that is built in the future. So if I go to view, save my table, I try and add a new car, so I'm going to put a Ford. And I'm going to put the year as 2022. You see, one or more view values are prohibited by the validation rules, so I can't do it. So I go back to there, and I can actually put in my own message saying, you can't enter a year that is in the future. Where's we here? Try again. Can't enter it yet in the future. So my first validation rule has worked. If you ever get stuck and you keep saying you can't enter it, you can't enter it, just press escape on your keyboard and that will get you off that. Now, there are a lot more things you can do than just um, less than and greater than, but you can put all your sort of general sort of expressions of less than and things like that are absolutely fine. Now, one thing you might want to do is you might want to have um, maybe a list of things you can choose from for the manufacturer. So there's a couple of ways. So one way you can do it is you can do, you can just put in uh, Ford, Audi, or BMW. Okay, so I said in Ford, Audi, Audi or BMW, and I type in, it must be one of these cars. So again, save it. Yep. Now, the reason it's that it violates it is because I've got other cars within there. Then there, if I type in Skoda, it must be one of these cars, and I can put in BMW, and it's worked. So that's by using in. Now, another one you think you can do is if you go to look up, and you go to this box, and now you get rid of this table query and just say a value list and then this you can put in BMW, Audi, best spell it right, look forward like that and then go back into my thing, you see here now I've got a drop down so now I can choose BMW, Audi and it'll work. So that's two ways of doing validation. So we've got um, a, value, a value list drop down and we've got the in. So again, as well, if I see you type in something stupid, it still says that and you've got the, the drop down to sort of enforce that in there. Now, another way of um, adding some sort of validation in is say if I need clean, or maybe something like, like gender as well, I might have a validation rule, I might put in Y or M. Oh, just M. And you see it's put speech patterns on for me. And um, needs clean needs to be Y or N. Go to the table again, whatever, whatever, whatever. And just like before, you see it's told me off again. So that's another way of doing it. So we've got, again, press escape to get all that. So I've got. Y or N, or 
can put in the um, in for Audi and BMW. So that's another way of doing of when people typing in certain things. So if you get asked to do things like gender or where it's a couple of options, so it's one or two options, you can just do this or this. Um, like I have for the needs clean, or if you want to put in lots and lots of things, you can put in obviously the in. Out of those work, whichever way you're more comfortable with, which way you remember better, pick one of them ones. Now I've just showed you a couple of the basic ones. There are a lot more validation rules that you can do. So right now on the screen will be a list of all the different ones you can do. You've got things like in between zero and one. You've got um, a non-zero value, today's date, anything like that. So you can see you have a little play around with those. But that is your main bit of validation. The main thing to take away is that you want to have your message. You know, test it works. If it doesn't work, then you've done something wrong. Don't just leave it because it could knacker up and break your entire um, database if you can't type, if they can't type anything in later on, or you can't do a query or whatever you've done. So make sure you try to get it to work. And that's it from me. And I'll see you in the next one.